Hi, my name is Izzy and this is my Murray Hill apartment. It is a two bedroom, two half bath situation. Today I'm just going to be walking you through my home, giving you some insight into how I organized everything and kind of personalized it to make it just for me. Okay, so this is my entryway. What I did here is that I really wanted to make this kind of like a zone where I could get ready right before I was going out, like do last minute touch-ups in situations like that. And so I was like, what's gonna make me happy? Like, And so that's when I started to get the idea of I wanted, especially this front area and this part to be just like a party and to basically like dopamine dressing. And then we've got everything kind of on display in like an open concept sort of thing so that I can see everything that I have. And someone who collects a lot of stuff like this functionality was really important for me. And so this section of the apartment is definitely a very different feel from what my parents had because they had no need for this. And then kind of to the right, I call this Rocco's Corner, as you can see from the sign. So Rocco was my dog. He passed away last um, summer. When he passed away, I kind of wanted to do something for a tribute for him. This was the place he used to always sit and sunbathe. My cousin got this portrait of him made with these crowns, because I used to call him Little Prince, which is just really sweet. I like to kind of just sit here and I do a lot of my like journaling for the morning here, because it's kind of where I center myself. And sometimes I'll even um, like eat my breakfast here because it's just kind of nice to be by the window and I feel really close to him when I'm over here. So now we transition into the living area. This is very just open space, very blank canvas. And so I wanted to really personalize it. The L couch was kind of there when I grew up, but I put a different cover on it. And then I decided to push it against the wall to make everything really open. And then things just kind of started falling into place. And I have a lot of knickknacks. I'm a big trinket collector. We've got a bop it. We've got some nice pictures of my family and friends, little Betty Boop statuettes, which I collect. As I start, sort of was curating the space, it just kind of came naturally together. And then I was like, well, we just got to keep going. And so that's when I was like, I really want to go with pink. Like, I don't want to shy away. I, if I'm going to go big, I want to go bigger go home. And so that kind of kicked it off for me. And then all of the pieces just kind of started falling into place. And I'm really lucky that my parents are very supportive. I call these girls the ladies. They were one of the first pieces that I got when I was redoing the apartment for myself. I really wanted to give it my own kind of infusion of myself. And so these were a big part of that when I kind of was deciding to go into the direction of pink and also very like feminine, divine sort of um, theme that we've got going on here, which is very up my alley. I call it my Polly Pocket house, which is very appropriate, I think. <laughs> We get to the obvious showstopper. So <laughs> this is Ellie LaFont. She is a giant solid pink elephant that you can sit on. <laughs> it's hard to be sad ever when you're sitting on a pink elephant. Like maximalism, you, you shouldn't always know where your eyes should go because you're so overwhelmed. But I think it's important to have like a flow so that it doesn't feel overwhelming, so that it feels like you're being pulled into it as opposed to like overwhelmed by it and we got into sort of again like open space but this is sort of our dining area so these are the disco lamps and i found this disco tape and so i sat on top of this table and it took me about two hours um but i, but I just wrapped it all the way around these lamps if you just put a little bit of like effort and you maybe sometimes think slightly outside the box you can turn it into something that will work for you that often is non-conventional and in my opinion the non-conventional things are most of the time the coolest and then we move more into the kitchen we've got more betty boop this was my grandmother's i collect betty boop stuff um kind of because of her she used to and so when she passed i got a lot of it and then i wanted to kind of continue on the tradition um for her and then also because betty boop is just like awesome and you kind of just can't go wrong like you know Welcome to my kitchen. So as you can see, this is called a peekaboo kitchen and they're not super common in like the regular real estate situation that's happening in New York right now. You wouldn't find this in like a newly renovated Manhattan apartment, which in my taste is just more fun uh, because it just screams more of me and it has more of my 
personality in it. And that is what makes me happy personally. It's like this kind of neon-y green situation. It's not like a traditional kitchen color. It's got purple trim to match the purple cement floors out there. On my fridge, I've kind of got very like more of, of me. Pictures of my friends and people that are very close to me, as well as a lot of the artwork that my students have made me. Um, I'm an after school teacher at a public school, actually the same public school that I went to as a child. If I'm ever sad, I have everything they've ever made me in this little situation. This kitchen also has a lot of like built-in shelving that was here like with the apartment, like we didn't personalize any of it. The apartment was a hat making factory. I don't know this for certain, but in my head, all of the like pre-existing shelves that were already in here were probably for things like displaying all the hats around and um, like equipment and things like that, which we can't be too certain. That's what I like to think. So this is the master bedroom. Right off this, we have the guest bedroom that actually was my sister's room when she was growing up and then my parents were in here. And we have these giant sliding panels that you can kind of just use to separate the space. <laughs> I really love this room. It's obviously very different than the front part of the apartment. That's much louder, but I wanted this space to be a little more low key, not as bright and as loud with the colors, just like for my mental space um, so that I could have a little bit of a break. And so that's why I went with kind of the black and the darker blues and the richer reds. In here is really just like my space to sleep. There's not a ton going on. There's this amazing vintage chair. My mom thrifted. She's definitely where I get a lot of my taste from. My mom has an incredible eye. She's like, she calls herself the idea person. Like she's very good at just coming up with like on the spot, like rapid fire ideas. And then we've got these beautiful pieces. My sister actually made these. She's an artist in like every sense of the word. Her Etsy is Chase Rabbits if you ever want any of her stuff. And then this, this is definitely my newest favorite. And they're these little cowboy lamps <laughs> and they're just precious. Now it doesn't matter like where I go or like what I'm shopping for odds are I will find something that fits somewhere that will go with something else like at this point because there's so much to choose from. And this I actually found on the sidewalk, someone had gone to throw it away. I thought this was perfect. Like I'm not even a super big drinker, but like, come on. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> If I could give anybody advice on how to make your space the most functional and fun for you, I would say that the keys are to keep organized. I have everything in my apartment. I call them zones and stations because it helps me separate out not only like where items belong so that I can find them, but I find that it helps me design the space as well. Don't get rid of the things that you think just could never work because you never know what you can rework to make fit for your aesthetic. Like you can spray paint things, you can get new covers. These things are not expensive and they're not very hard to do. I'm very lucky in that I inherited this apartment. When my parents designed this apartment over the course of the 25 to 30 years that they lived here, they did so much to the apartment, so much to the space that I then was able to build on, um, which I, We'll just be forever thankful for it. Thank you so much for visiting my home. Um, if you want to find me anywhere, I'm at Izzy DHJ, I-Z-Z-Y DHJ. Um, please comment and subscribe. I would love to know what your favorite part of the apartment is, even though it's probably this, but I would still love to know. Um, and yeah, just thank you for joining and special shout out to my parents and my sister for helping me create this space and um, yeah, just being so supportive. Thank you.